Wallaby, wallaby, waitin'. An elephant sat on Aiden, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wagust. An elephant sat on August, Willoughby, Wallaby, Woggy. An elephant sat on Augie, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Waraline. An elephant sat on Caroline, Willoughby, Wallaby, we see. An elephant sat on Cece, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Warley. An elephant sat on Charlie, Willoughby, Wallaby, Wellinor. An elephant sat on Eleanor, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wemerson. An elephant sat on Emerson, Willoughby, Wallaby, <clears throat> Wemmet. An elephant sat on Emmet, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Warrison. An elephant sat on Harrison, <laughs> Willoughby, Wallaby, Wanathan. An elephant sat on Jonathan, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wona. An elephant sat on Jonah, Willoughby, Wallaby, Woa. An elephant sat on Noah, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Oelia. An elephant sat on Oelia, Willoughby, Wallaby, Wemmy. An elephant sat on Remy, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wooby. An elephant sat on Ruby. Willoughby, Wallaby, Willie, an elephant sat on Tilly, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wami, an elephant sat on Tommy, Willoughby, Wallaby, Woey, an elephant sat on Zoe, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Wooly, an elephant sat on Julie, Willoughby, Wallaby, Wera, an elephant sat on Sarah, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Woeya. An elephant sat on Maria, Willoughby, Wallaby, Wunita. An elephant sat on Sunita, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Warren. An elephant sat on Lauren, Willoughby, Wallaby, Wary Wee School. An elephant sat on Terry Preschool, and Willoughby, Wallaby, Willoughby, Woo! Don't let an elephant sit on you! Hi, it's me. Holy cow. Huh, I'm really hot. I'm really hot. And I'm kind of silly. But you know, I know how much you love that song. Remember when we always would sing it coming from the park? And you'd always say, can we sing Willoughby Wallaby? Well, I figure we can't walk to the park together or back to school together. But we can sing together, and I can put on a costume. I made this costume probably 20, hmm, three years ago, or 24 years ago. And my son Christopher had one, and my daughter Amelia had one. And they were elephants for Halloween. So, oh, I'm so hot. <sighs> um, <clears throat> so, anyway, hi, how are you? I'm so, 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 so glad that we can be, we're able to do this. Um, every day goes by and there are some things that change and some things that don't. Um, nothing changes in how much I miss you. Nothing changes in how much I love you. Nothing changes that I'm so grateful we can have computers and we can have phones and we can record and send messages to one another. I love, 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 love the messages you're leaving on the flip grid. And, and those of you who aren't able to, I, I don't, I, I'm not a very technologically sound person. So maybe reach out to a friend and they can help you with that. Um, but I'm going to keep sending them. And I, anytime you want to send a message, just go for it. It's so cool and so fun and such a gift for me. So with that being said, we got to start this day. Good day, good day. It's a good, 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 good day. Say hello and how do you do? To all our friends and our teachers and our moms and our dads too. We'll throw them in. Good day, good day. It's a good, good, great, great day. <clears throat> yeah, it really is. <clears throat> it is a good day. 
And I have our handy dandy calendar, and I actually found my handy dandy glasses, so nobody has to go find them for me, okay? <laughs> Joking. Here we are. It is the month of spring. Now, did you guys see the snow on Sunday? Was that crazy or what? Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. But whatever, it's still spring. It is still the month of March. Yesterday, it was Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. So if yesterday was Tuesday, today would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, no. Wednesday! Sorry. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's do it again. I'm... I'm getting so confused because I don't come to school every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow! Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today's Wednesday, all day, from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep. It's going to be Wednesday. And the number after 24 is... You got it. It's 25. Those are a lot, a lot of numbers to count. Some of you can count that high. Some of you need a little help getting there. Would you like to do it all together? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so that means it's number 25. So <clears throat> we've got these kites. Some of the kites have a pink tail. Some of the kites have a green tail. What is the pattern? What do you think will come next? We've got Pink, 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 green, green, 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 pink, 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 green, bum, 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 green. So our calendar tells us that today it is Wednesday, Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. Giddy up. Here we are. So amazing, right? Pretty darn amazing. The days are flying by. It's crazy. So, so crazy. So when I make these videos, I don't make them in the morning when you're watching them or on the day you're watching them. So the weather is, I don't know really and truly what the weather is as you're watching me. I know what the weather is today when I look out my window. But that's not the day that you're looking at this. So can you look out the window? Can you check it out and find out, like, what is the weather? Okay. Hey, let me ask you. <clears throat> is it sunny? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny and cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Hmm. Well, on the count of three, say it really loudly. Today is blah, blah, blah. All right? One, two, three. Today is... Excellent. Your meteorologist. Remember, the meteorologist is the person who studies the weather, right? It's pretty cool, right? So stand up. We got to just stand up for a second here. Find a space that you're not going to jump into something and get hurt, okay? Because right now, I want to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. I want to jump, jump, jump my jillies out. Jump, jump, jump my jillies out. Jump. Jump, jump my jillies out and wiggle my waggles away. 
I want to stretch, stretch, stretch my jillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my jillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out and wiggle my waggles away. I want to hug, hug, hug my huggies out. Hug, hug, hug my huggies out. Hug, hug, hug my huggies out. And wiggle my waggles away. Whew, that felt good. It felt good to kind of move. Right? Kind of good. Kind of good. Hmm. So while you're hugging, why don't you take one second and find a mom or a dad or a sister or a brother and give them a hug. Can you do that? Give them a hug and tell them you love them. We can't get enough of that, right? So right now, I'm gonna to count to three, get up and go do that, and then come back to me. But don't take too much time. One, two, three. Go hug somebody. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. So yesterday, remember, we did the mystery bag. Do you remember the clues? First clue was it is something that is round. And then I said that it was something that you can eat. And then the third clue is is something that you can cook in many ways. So you have a guess? You ready? What is that? It is a potato. It is round. It is something that you can eat and you can cook it in many ways. Did you know that French fries are potatoes? Tater tots are potatoes. Hash browns are potatoes. You can bake a potato in the oven. You can boil a potato in water on the stove. You can cut it up and roast it in the oven. And did you know that you can mash a potato? I love mashed potatoes. I actually like any kind of potato. I might have to cook potatoes tonight, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna cook this potato. <laughs> This potato has googly eyes. Holy cow. He's kind of cute, right? Well, he's my friend. Yeah. I haven't decided what to name my potato yet. Maybe you could help me with that. But I know of a really cool book that I thought that I would like to share with you. I'm going to pull up my little stand here and put this book on it. I still haven't figured out the best way to read you a book. It kind of bugs me. Whenever I hold it, I get shaky, and that doesn't work very well. So I'm going to just put it on this stand like I did the other time. I maybe adjust my computer a little bit. So that it's maybe, there. There we go. Let's do this. Sorry. I'm continuing to learn all the time with this whole process. Thank you for being patient. <clears throat> this is a book called I'm Worried. That's not going to work. I'm going to move it. I'm going to make this higher. Let's see if I can get this to go away. There. That works. This is a book called I'm Worried. I'm going to put on my handy dandy glasses. And there's the potato. He looks kind of like my potato, right? Kind of. So let's see what he has to say. This is a story by Michael Ian Black. He wrote the story. And the illustrator is Debbie Rid. Rid path. Oh, hi. We'll say that. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but that's what we're going to say. 
and then pull this over a little bit. Okay. Oh, look, we got a flamingo. And we have a girl playing basketball. And we have the potato saying, I'm worried. <laughs> what are you worried about? I'm worried about the future, said the potato. Well, why are you worried about the future, said the flamingo? Because what if something bad happens? Like what, said the girl. Like anything. Look at, like, somebody's cooking potatoes. This clown is scared of that thing, whatever it is. There's a test at school. There's a storm. Those are all things that people do get nervous about. Please tell me nothing bad will ever happen, said the potato. And the girl said, well, I wish I could, potato, but I can't. Well, why not? Because nobody knows what's going to happen. And now the flamingo says, well, I'm worried now, too. And then she says, she's very smart. You know, it's, it's really okay, you guys. Sometimes bad things happen. Like when we get a... A virus and it gets kind of crazy in a city. Like, Potato, remember that time you rolled off the table? I was bruised for weeks. That was not a good thing. And Flamingo, remember when you got your beak stuck in the peanut butter jar? Oh my gosh, look at him. Well, can you see that very well? There, look at, he's got his, there's the peanut butter jar. Peanut butter is the worst. And that time I fell off the monkey bars and broke my arm. All of those things were bad at first. But over time, they turned out okay. Everybody got okay. I got a sticker at the time at the doctor's office and it was a scratch and sniff. Oh, I put bologna on my sandwich and it was delicious. And you both doodled all over my cast. And it looked awesome! I'm going to wrap myself in bubble wrap just in case. That way nothing bad can happen again. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at how funny they are, all wrapped. You guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my goodness, the potato said it's getting very warm in here. And the flamingo says, I can't even move. We were trapped in bubble wrap. Another bad thing happened. You guys see, worrying does not help. Since we don't know what's going to happen in the future, maybe we should just enjoy now, right now. Enjoy the now? Am I doing it right? Yep. How about now? You got it. Hey, Flamingo. Yeah? Boo! Oh, my goodness. Everything, everyone is enjoying the now, and they realize that it's way better than worrying about stuff we can't change or we, that's in the future. But the Flamingo says peanut butter is still the worst. So, sometimes we have all kind. it's okay to feel all kinds of things. It's okay to feel sad that we're not at school. It's okay to feel kind of bored. It's okay to feel kind of frustrated. It's okay to worry about things sometimes, but the best thing to do is to look around and see how you can make the best of it. And just like your mom and your dads, they're not going to work right now, and your, your brothers and your sisters, they're not going to their school. And so what we're all trying to do is to just have fun. Because what else? Ugh, we got to do that, right? So I was thinking, you know, what could you do to, um, you know, to make some fun? And I know some of you are making things and you're playing with your toys and you're watching a video now and then of me. And Sarah will be next week with lots of really cool things. So I thought I was going to make myself a potato. Okay. So 
you can make a potato any way you want to, and you can make any color potato that you want to. But I just got, I have a piece of white paper, and I was just going to, I don't even need to do this really, but I thought I would just put all kinds of brown scribbles on it to make it kind of brown. If you have brown paper, you could use brown paper. Um, that. And then oh wait, that's stick there. I'm gonna crunch it up. And then maybe when it's done, I might give it a couple eyes. You could give it a lot of eyes if you wanted to. That would be okay. These are funny looking eyes because the paper's all crumpled, but you can see. And I am going to give my potato a smiley face because I want my potato to come with me in my house. And here's what I want you to do with your potato. You ready? If you live in a house or an apartment, you have windows. Right, potato? Potato, could you come with me and keep track of how many windows we have in our house? I'm going to count mine. I want you to count yours. Some of you will have a few. Some of you will have many. So what I want you to do with your potato, or maybe your mom wants to take a little potato later. He's cute. I like this potato. We may have to keep him visiting us now and then before he goes really gross. Um, so I thought, take your potato. We've counted the stairs in our houses, right? Now let's count the windows. Can't wait to find out. All right. So it's kind of time to say goodbye. I'm sorry to say, but we will meet again tomorrow. And who knows what I'll be wearing tomorrow. You never know. Today I was an elephant. Tomorrow, hmm, sky's the limit. Okay. So <clears throat> now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Zoe. Goodbye, Tommy. Goodbye, Tilly. And goodbye, Ruby, too. Goodbye, Remy. Goodbye, Aurelia. Goodbye, Noah. Goodbye, Jonah, too. Goodbye, Jonathan. Goodbye, Harrison. Goodbye, Emmett. And goodbye to Emerson, too. Goodbye, Eleanor. Goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye, Caroline. And goodbye, Cece, too. Goodbye, Augie. Goodbye, August. Goodbye, Aiden. And goodbye, Julie, too. Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Maria. Goodbye, Sunita. And goodbye, Lauren, too. Stay well. Remember that you are loved, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams when you go to bed tonight. <laughs>